I believe there's been some issues with uh, transportation today, so there might be a few late arrivals and some changes to the agenda as well, So, but we'll just judge that on timings. So welcome to the 12th Demographic User um, Annual Conference. It's good to see so many people. Again, the room is full, um, as Doug brings a variety of sectors and companies together, including the 15 member companies, as well as specially invited guests from the government and universities. I'm sure today will bring um, um, lots of benefit to all in the room by spreading knowledge and also stimulating some new ideas. Um, I'm going to start off with some housekeeping skills. So if nobody can understand me at any point, I'm sure um, Keith has organised some subtitles or audio to translate Yorkshire into full English for you. Um, the fire exits are main one there, there's one down this wall and also the back of the room. Can I ask anybody with mobile phones to switch them off or turn them to silent or tablets, etc.? Um, and all the presentations today will be available on the Doug website. So the topic for this year is how can data analysis best be communicated to decision makers? So visualising, distilling and also influencing. The event again is sponsored and supported by the ESRC's Co Consumer Data Research Centre. The topic has been promoted by the Demographic User Group members. We've had various discussions in the meetings about the recent developments, availability and choice of data visualisation software. Um, even having a session in, um, I think it was Coventry, was it? Um, for um, sort of discussing and having a look at data visualisation software, which Tim Raines did for us. So the data visualisation software part allied with the long-standing focus that Doug has of how analysts can best influence decision makers. So I think this is quite an ideal time to start a debate um, on how this is happening and it's an increasingly um, hot topic. Uh, you'll see there's a great set of speakers, all their details and biographies are within the packs that you should be given from outside. Um, and it's, we're going to hear some latest news from the Consumer Data Research Centre, including this year's master's projects, which I think will be outside during lunch as well, that you can have a peruse around. Um, you'll see in the agenda that we have a workshop session as well in the afternoon, um, post-lunch, so hopefully you'll have energy for that. Um, and that is to just seek to identify what needs... Um, to be done by analysts to help decision makers. So please, if any thoughts are evoked through the morning sessions, please note them down and we can debate or ask questions. Hopefully that will be answered during that session. Um, we're, sure, we're sure that the speakers and the topics will be great and Keith is hoping that the admin will hold up. However, there has been a few late arrivals and juggling already. Um, I've touched on some of the benefits um, of Doug already by bringing people together that you wouldn't naturally or normally sit with or let alone be a in a room with. Um, there are also other benefits include increasingly free available data and engaging and influencing government bodies um, so in order to mould the future outlook of data which is really important. More recently um, we've taken the first few steps into international data realm so that's quite interesting. One benefit, on a personal note to me, um, is the opportunities that Doug and the ESRC have provided um, for master's students in, the, in universities throughout and across the UK. And I think there's a few other people here that have probably been involved in that process. Um, three years ago, I was up here for a totally different reason, equally as nervous, but um, that was to uh, present the master's dissertation on how um, urban mega events impact online grocery deliveries. Didn't manage to get one of the three cash prizes, but um, I'm not bitter about it, don't worry. <laughs> um, but I was fortunate enough to collaborate with Tesco.com as part of the ESRC master's projects um, when I was at Leeds University. Um, I was then offered a job and I'm still with the company today. So this journey that Doug and the ESRC have enabled between academic world and also the corporate world has enabled me to and taught me to clean code and calculate something like this to then create maybe something like this and then to finally uh, communicate it to somebody like this. I think it's important with the new software um, and techniques to have fresh thinking 
degree courses and skills to keep up with the ever-changing analytical world and it's also supporting a large and broad spectrum of companies and sectors. However, if you have a good idea or a groundbreaking result, it loses value if you cannot um, or are unable to communicate the story as good as the one on the page or the computer screen. So I think we're running just on time now. <laughs> um, so I think we should start with our first speaker.